hi welcome to this tutorial in this video i'm going to show you how you can convert pdf file into the wg file here in autocad now before we get started there are a few things i need to bring to your notice and one of them is the fact that autocad versions older than 2017 do not have this feature this feature was first introduced by autodesk in 2017 and then i also need to let you know that each time you make a transition from pdf to dwg there's always a loss in precision in terms of dimensions and some other things but not to worry here on this video i'm also going to teach you how you can reconcile that using your scale factor but before we begin i'd like to ask you to give this video a thumbs up share it and leave a comment on the comment section below and if you have not subscribed to this channel please consider doing so because it helps me a lot and more so you will get updated each time we post videos because we make useful tutorials like this on a weekly basis let's begin So to import this PDF file into this place, there are three ways you can do that. The first is to go to your command bar here and type import. So you can see PDF import. You click on it and say enter. It takes you into your drive and let's say I want to import this. Once you click on it, you can see the preview here. So we can go ahead and open it the second way you can do that is to go to the app menu here you click on it and then you look for import this is import so you can see pdf you click on it and say enter it comes up and then the third way to get to that is to come to your insert tab here once you click it open you can see pdf import you drop this down and you see pdf import you click on it it still brings you down here now let's go ahead and import this so you click it and you say open this dialog box opens up for you to do a few setup so here is talking about page and of course here we just have one page in a case where you have multiple pages all you just have to do here is indicate which one you want to import and then you just click on it and at the end of your setup you say okay only that one will be imported but in this case we just have one page and then here for the location they say the first point here is specify insertion point on screen so we are going to leave it checked if you uncheck this for example it means at the end of the day when you click ok it's going to appear on a random basis you have to use the zoom or command to bring it up but for this tutorial let's leave it checked so that it will be on our cursor we have to specify our insertion point by ourselves now the scale factor we are going to leave it as one but if you want to know the scale in which the pdf was saved it is here one is to 97 now another thing we are going to set up here is the pdf data to import here we have vector geometry of course our drawing is a vector drawing any drawing done with autocad revit and the rest of those design softwares is usually a vector drawing because it deals with lines as lines and then the solid fields talks about the hashes the true type text actually refers to traditional operating system text we know and then for raster images we are going to leave this blank raster images talks about images done with photoshops and the rest of them so we don't need it here and then we'll talk about the layers here use pdf layer so we are going to leave use pdf layers we also see create object layers we also see current layers so we are going to check the first one and then here on this other panel we have import options so we are going to import it as block and then we are going to join line and arc segments we are going to convert solid fields to hashes we are going to apply line widths properties so the only one we are going to leave unchecked is infer line types from collinear dashes so we don't really need to check that we'll leave it like that so you say okay once you are done with your setup 
and then you can see the drawing so here we can insert it here and we have the drawing here so in this case we have the original here and then we have the imported file here so the first thing you're going to do once you have inserted the drawing as a block you just hit the drawing and then go to your home and explode it so you can see we have our drawing there and then looking at this particular drawing i have these dimensions the thickness of the wall is 225 and then we also have these dimensions they are not looking like the scale or uh, there's a loss in precision in any way i think everything is in order but in some cases where there's a loss in precision i'm also going to show you what to do so for example let me increase the scale of this one by highlighting it and i pick scale they say specify base point i pick anywhere here 1.5 okay i have increased the scale of this now if i pick my dimension to show you as you can see what we have there now is quite different from what we have here this is 10677 and this is 160 that okay let me delete this one so that it doesn't distract us okay let's say for example this is what we imported and we have lost the actual scale of it in the imported file in order to reconcile that what you have to do is to check what you have here and use your calculator let's use calculator let me click on it now your calculator appears so here we are going to divide this value here by this value so here we have 10677 10, 6, 7, 7, divided by we have 16, 0, 12, 16, 0, 12, and you say equals to so this value now becomes your skill factor on which you are going to scale this to conform to what we have here already so if i highlight this let me take it from the border and i pick scale and i click on any point as my base point and i type in this value which is 0 0.6668123914 so if you go to check it you can see that we now have our value back so this is how to reconcile that in the case of loss in precision and then i can close my calculator back so here you can see we have everything in place and then it is now all to you to start working at least you have something to work with better than starting afresh and with this we have come to the conclusion of this tutorial like this video share it and leave a comment below the comment section subscribe to this channel for more thanks for watching